This is Chapter 2 Elementary Programming, Programming Exercise 7. Find the number of years. So, we're going to write a program that prompts the user to enter the minutes. In this case, we're going to enter 1 billion minutes and displays the number of years and remaining days for the minutes. So, for simplicity, for this exercise, we're just going to assume that a year has 365 days. And in an example run, uh, the console is going to ask the user to enter the number of minutes. In this case, we'll enter 1 billion for this exercise. And we will see that 1 billion minutes is approximately 1,902 years and 214 days. Now, for this exercise, we could do it in four simple steps. So the first step is always to ask the user, please enter the number of minutes. Now, for this case, since we're just going to use 1 billion, for our example, we're not going to ask that. We're going to go jump straight to the point. We're going to instead input the value 1 billion and store into a variable called minutes. So let's do that instead. Right here, we're going to uh, have a variable. Let's create a variable of double data type. Actually, you know what? We'll use int. Int will work just fine and we'll have 1 billion. So let's see, to make it more visible, this will be 1 billion, all right? Now, what do we do after that? So step three, ignoring step one, of course, we're going to calculate the number of years and days. So before we do that, let's review a few things. And these are things that we should know or what we do know already, right? For this exercise, for this uh, program, we are going to ignore leap years and assume that every single year only has 365 days. So uh, we should know that normally uh, there are 365 days in the year, but there are some years that are leap years that has 366 days in a year. But since that will add a little bit more complexity to this exercise, and we're only on chapter two, we're going to push that aside for now and just assume that every single year in this program only have 365 days. So what do we have to do next? Now we're given an amount of minutes and we have to figure out from these minutes how to get the amount of years and days. So to do that, we have to calculate. We have to calculate the given amount of minutes to hours hours to days, days to years, and then find the remaining days. And to do that, let's get a visual. So assuming we have 1 billion minutes, to get the amount of hours in 1 billion minutes, well, we know that in an hour there are 60 minutes, or 60 minutes in an hour. So to convert 1 billion minutes to hours, we simply just divide by 60. and to convert the amount of hours to days, we divide by 24 because there are 24 hours in a day. Next, to figure out the amount of days to years, we divide by 365 because we know that there are 365 days in a year and of course ignoring leap years. And then finally, we find the remaining days that don't add up to a total of one year. And with that, we will have our years and days figured out. All right, so let's uh, actually, hmm. for now we will have that, just int. Int minutes. If we don't like what we see, we'll change it. So let's create a few more variables. Days, total amount of days. Yeah, uh, for that hours to hold the uh, amount of hours in a minute, days to hold the amount of hours, um, and then years. All right. So let's calculate hours first. Hours simply equals to minutes divided by 24. Uh, sorry, 60. 60 minutes in an hour. Days could be calculated by the amount of hours we have figured out divided by 24. And then years could be calculated by the amount of days divided by 365. And lastly, we want to find out the leftover amount of days 
uh, that doesn't go add up to be one single year. So we say days again, and instead of uh, dividing days by 365, we mod it by 365 and find the remaining that don't add up to 365. And finally, we could display that. So we'll simply say minutes. So 1 billion minutes is approximately, uh, let's see, approximately X amount of days and X amount of years. So run that and let's see what we get. So what we got is 1 billion minutes is approximately 214 days and 1,902 years, which is exactly what we got here as an example run. All right, so that will be it for this exercise. And just for a quick review, to get a good understanding of how or what happened in this code, we know that there are 1 billion, or we're assuming the user will give us 1 billion as a number, and we're storing that 1 billion value into a variable of type int called minutes. And through the amount of minutes, we have to calculate the amount of hours in that uh, number of minutes, number of days from those hours, number of years from those days, and the remaining amount of days that don't add up to 365. And with that, we display it here as a string.